Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Lisa, and I'm here to share a word from Margaret Blake. The title is Word of Warning, and this was posted January 22nd. And I just would like to say before I read this out, some of these words on here I'm going to have to speak vaguely. I do recommend that you please read the transcript and get the words because some of them I'm not going to be able to repeat on here due to censorship. It says here, Do not be deceived, says the Lord. The enemy plots and plans. What many perceive as a victory in their governments beginning to lift the restrictions and mandates is only the next phase of their government's diabolical plan of control and destruction against mankind. Why do you suppose your governments are relaxing their restrictions and mandates? They want the jabbed and unjabbed to mingle, to come into close proximity and contact with one another. They want you to engage in relationship with one another. They are counting on the jabbed to transmit and transfer spike proteins and other contaminants onto and into the unjabbed. They are hoping that this mingling, interacting, will facilitate a means of cross-contamination. They want the people's guard down, and in order to do so, they have to make the people believe that life is getting back to normal. But they are liars. Bear this in mind. They are not ceasing with their agenda. The governments also want the unjabbed and jabbed to mingle with one another so that when they turn on their system, the reaction that will be stimulated within the jabbed will cause an aberration in their behavior. They will become unlike themselves. Many will become aggressive and violent toward others near them. This will take place in all settings, in private homes, schools, businesses, shops, transportation, private and public, on land, air, and water, etc. Wherever these signals reach, there will be impact upon the jabbed. Great distress and hysteria will ensue. There will be much fear. The police authorities will be mobilized. This will allow the governments to reinstitute restrictions and mandates, but with more rigid controls. Be wary of all that your leaders say. Do not put your trust in them. Come to me with everything. I will guide and guard you. The times you are living in are treacherous. I said there would be wars and rumors of wars, that the days would be as they were at the time of Noah. Confusion and mayhem will wash over the earth in waves, often overwhelming many. Only those who cling to me will overcome. I am the vine. You, my people, are the branches. Cling to me. Your lives depend upon me. I am your Savior. And that is the end of this message. There are also, there are also sorry, scriptural references that go with this word. I will post the link in the comment section. I pray you all have a beautiful day in the Lord. God bless each and every one of you. And I will see you either next video or in the air. Bye-bye.